Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make a custom splash screen from a color image. So if you have a Hot 42 or Dual Pad or ASNDO Pro or any pad running the GP2040 OS, you'd be asking yourself, how do I change the splash screen? In my previous video, I showed you how to make a custom design from scratch. In this video, I'll take a photo that is in color and convert it to a black and white in the proper format. So this is more of a part two to that prior video. That video is still valid, everything still works. Again, with the differences here, instead of starting with a blank canvas, in this video, we'll take a color image and convert it to the proper black and white format. All the links are in the description, so let's dive in. So one more thing before we begin, I wanna send a huge thank you to the folks in the Hot 42 Discord. There's a channel called GP2040CE Splash Screens for sending me this tool address and helping me get started. So the first thing you want to do is find your image. Most watching this probably already have their image. If you don't, don't stress. Just find a, a free image just to get through the tutorial so you can see how things work. And then you can go spend time looking for the exact image you want to use. I'll be using some images I generated with ChatGPT Dolly 3. So I have some that have a lot of things going on and some that are very simple. And you'll see what the difference is when we're making them work. All right, so let's begin. So here I have three images. I have two that are very busy and one that is pretty straightforward. It's a solid background with just some bold white lines and colors. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to treasure.github.io slash home screen dash editor and that'll bring you to this page. And again, the link is in the description and we're going to upload our image and begin. So the first thing you're going to do is click on image from file click on upload you'll upload your image and it'll present right here in the middle next thing you want to do is you know pinch and zoom to get the focus on your image you can also drag it you can resize all this and what you're really looking at is once you have it where you want to hear you want to look right here it says final result this is the perspective don't worry about the colors just look at the perspective so i want this in the middle roughly about like that right now we get into designing so what you want to do is turn off fake shadowing you can click invert that just changes it around from dark to light the black background, you can determine your picture if you need it or not. So don't worry about that yet. So now we've turned off the black background. We've turned off the invert, fake shading. Now let's get the brightness. This is where everything matters. So your brightness, slide this up and down and try to find that sweet spot for how you want your design to look. So right about there, right? So I'm going to say 150 looks good to me. The sharpen, I'm going to go all the way sharp and I'm going to go all the way back out. And you'll determine for you what looks good. I don't want any of that, those effects. I'm going to take it out. So now I could try black background. That looks pretty good, but I don't really want it. I can click invert and see, okay, I like how that looks. I can click back around again and see, wow, that actually pops pretty nice right there. So I have that, and I'm going to make it look something like this. The fake shadowing, different images will look different. So you can try it and see what you think and turn it on or off. And that's it. Once you're done, I like to right-click here and say save image as. I save it. And I like to come here and say right click, save image as, and I save this color preview. That way I have a backup of what I was trying to create and what results I made. And then from there, you get this. So now when I look at my image, I can see what I have here and I can see what it originally looked like. I can come down on a Mac, I can zoom in and get a closer view and see how all that came out, right? And you're done. So now let's do another image. So here we have our robot. You can see it's, this is a different shape. So I'm going to slide this back. And now I have the image here and I have the borders blank, right? So I can put a black background and now you can see here in the final result, it changed the white to black for me. I can turn off the fake shading. Let's go to brightness, right? So let's try to brighten this all the way out, all the way down. And you can see when you go lower, this image is a lot more complicated than it looks. It looks just like a plain black with some white lines. But we can see as I'm changing the brightness, a lot of fine details in the image. And that's the thing you'll notice when you're making the designs that depending on the picture you find and the quality of the image you found is how much work you need to put into adjusting these settings. So let's adjust it here and see what we get. Let's put this at about 180. The sharpness, let's kind of slide this up here. And I want that right about 50 for this one, right? The invert. I don't want the fake shading actually fills in some of the gaps for me. And just like that, I'm done. I can rotate the image, but you can see when you do that, you do get some tearing and particle effects. So I don't want that. I'm gonna put that back and all I have to do now is save it. So I right click, I save as I take the original and I'm going to save this also. And now when I look at my image here, I can see I have my fully done design. I have the original and the fully done. And that's it. So when you're doing this, if you start getting frustrated, try another image. It could be the image quality is bad. It could be all types of different things, but it's that easy to turn this into a splash screen. 
So now let's try a more complicated image. So here, this is basically a drone with all types of guns and just a plain black and white background, right? No color. But when you look at this design, you look at the final result here. If I zoom out, if I zoom in, there's a lot of particle effects going on here, right? So I'm going to kind of zoom right about there. Let's try a black background. Okay, that kind of closed the edges out. I'll turn that off. The fake shading, let's turn that off. I can see some of the effects disappearing. We'll do the brightness. We'll go down in brightness, and you can see this image is just falling apart. Right? It's, it's not getting anywhere close to what I want it to be. And it's not the image fault. It's just this has too much going on. This is just not a good candidate for what we want to create. So I'm going to save this to show you what the result looks like. So here you can see the original image, and here is the splash screen. And there's just too much going on to get in. So I would not use this image as a screen. I move on to the next. Don't stress. Don't spend too much time. Just move on. Also keep in mind, when you actually see this on your display, it will be a little bit more vivid, and it may look a little different. So don't stress here. Just get it as close as you can to what you want. Roll it onto your pad, and then you'll start to see, okay, do I want to make any more tweaks to design or not? And that's it. That's how you use an image as a custom splash screen on your pad. Thanks for watching. Bye.